Some of the products you see in this video were sent to me and were not purchased using my own money. I have not received any types of compensation in exchange to do this video, nor has anyone had any pre-approval or screening prior to releasing this video. Everything said about the product is my own unbiased opinion. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Guys, today, so I'm going to be checking out a product that a company had sent to me. The company's called uh, Wilp, Wilp, Wilpy? I don't know, however you pronounce it. So basically, they look like they do some camera gear, action camera gear. Um, the quality looks pretty decent. I've seen from their Amazon store. Uh, I'm going to check them out, see how it holds up. Um, and I might just do a, a long term review as well because it's actually like straps. Anyway, let's go ahead, crack open the box. Let me show you what's in there and let's take it out for a quick test drive. Let's go. All right. Before we crack it open, let's check the outside. Thank you for choosing Wheel P. Uh, feel free to contact us, all of that stuff. And it shows you what you got. Yep, I got a head strap and chest harness. So this is this is one of the things that I, I actually liked about um, what they're doing. It's just like they give you like this combination gear and it's, it's reasonably priced, at least for right now it is. All links to the products are gonna be below. Also, their YouTube page will show you about the actual product as well, and you can check them out. All right, here we go. In the box, uh, of course, nothing super special. Oh, this is all together. Oh, this is the chest strap, cool. And this is the head strap. We got our mounting retainers here, and and here we got some documentation, nothing too crazy. Let's put this back in here. Let's see what's in here. So this is the GoPro or any other action cam mounting system that we're all used to. You know, you put your mount there or your camera here, boom, and you lock it on with this guy here. What I found with other companies is that the tighter you crank these, um, they start to crack, you know, if the plastic is kind of cheap. Um, I don't know. I'll see how this holds up over time. Looks pretty good. Also branded on here. That's cool. All right, let's get the box out of here. So what I typically use or what I normally use the most is, of course, the head straps. I use it for my speed running or if I'm running the car where I want to be hands free. So this will actually come in handy for me. Um, it has the non-slip, the anti-slip little rubber stuff here on the inside. So when you have it on your head, it won't slip. Um, and it has your adjustment here as well as over the top of your head. So that's pretty good. I'd like to see long term how the actual elastic lasts. If it will, you know, stay firm or solid. So I'll have to check that out in the future, you know, after I get some gross sweat in there <laughs> over time and oh bye bye and here is the chest strap all right so here we got our chest strap and so far again you know this one of course you don't need the actual rubber because it's actually strapped over your body over your shoulders so this is going to stay in place all you have to do is secure it I'd love to see how the elastic lasts over time, but we'll we'll see about that as well. So I'm gonna test these out. I'm gonna test out the head strap one first, um, and then I'll test out the chest strap, and I'll tell you my final thoughts on each. For the price, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's a bad bargain to have them both. Maybe if it was just one, um, then it would be a different story. But to get them both, and you get your GoPro mounting here. I think it's a pretty decent enough bargain to at least test it out. All right, so let's take this stuff out. I'm gonna go ahead and use the head strap one first and do some driving with my RC car. And then I'll do some stick cam footage flying my drone with the body mount here. Let's get outside. All right guys, so far, uh, right off the bat, I had to set this thing, I had to set this head strap thing all the way to the max because I guess my head is too big. <laughs> Baby's designed um, for another ethnicity, but uh, this is the beauty of having the hands free. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's pretty cool. 
um, it works as intended. So yeah, the strap itself is holding. It's fairly decent. The elastic kind of feels a lot stretchier than what I'm used to, as well as the GoPro itself didn't fit as snug in the actual um, bracket. But cranked it down and it's in there solid. So again, for the price, I mean, I, I, I would test it out. I would, I'd buy it and test it out for the price. All right. Let's crank this thing and uh, run the car a little bit. Should have turned that on first. All right. So I think if you're doing anything like some like heavy activities, like snowboarding kind of stuff, I don't know how well it's gonna stay on your head with this elastic. Uh, I don't think I would trust this one as well as something else, I guess. Maybe if you're just like doing some casual stuff with your hands and you want to show what's going on in the video, um, and you're not really moving your head violently, <laughs> yeah, you can use it. Why not? Looking good. All right, so on the Vendetta, uh, I changed off the motor to... Um, the felony motor, the stock felony motor instead. So it's a lower lower KV and I have it on 4S. So I wanna see how fast it goes. Um, I have on the splitter as well as the center brace. Ooh, I don't have that much space. People parked off on the sides. All right, let's just bring it back this way. Definitely not gonna do anything crazy. Full trigger. It's a nice little basher, man. For us. Coming right at me. <laughs> didn't stay in it very long, didn't want to get hit. All right, let's check the speed really quick. I feel like it's something like 50 or 40 maybe. 57, yeah. So 57 and what I'm running right now is uh, the 2050 kV motor from the felony. I have the 150 amp ESC and the same stock gearing. So it's the 50, 50 spool and the 27 tooth pinion so 57 um it's slower <laughs> uh it's slower on 4s but that's because of the gearing i have to gear it up some more with this motor and, and esc but i i wanted to change it out so i can have it as a basher not really very much a speed car trying to keep it clean and stuff but yeah, 57 and I didn't really squeeze into it for very long. I think I could probably squeeze an extra few out of it. Um, and I did change the center to a spool instead of the um, the slipper clutch assembly because that, that I, I shredded two of those already. So that's pretty good. Um, anyway, this is all about the actual camera gear. Uh, as I said, sorry for the shaky but yeah i shake my head a while ago and it it does feel kind of sloppy on my head and i have it tightened to the point that it's kind of hurting my head so the elastic isn't you know all that great so again i wouldn't use it for like you know high intense sports that you're going to be swishing your head around a lot but for stuff like this that you kind of just want people to see what you're doing it works but anyway Let's go ahead. I'm going to switch over to a drone and we're going to test out the chest strap and look at some stick movements, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right. How do I look? <sighs> All strapped up, ready to go. Let's go for a quick fly and see how it does with the stick cam. All right. We're all set, ready to go. 
drone all lit up just cuz got the controller set hope you guys get a nice little angle you can also hear me talking so guys if you want to check out these LEDs I'll put a link to them below as well they're pretty cool they're super bright and this single strip worked well for my entire tiny quad here for like a five inch it almost made it all the way around but for something small like this man it, it it's it's bright super bright all right boys let's fly No longer mode. Ooh, that kind of feels sticky this morning. Feeling weird and shaky this morning. Probably need some coffee. Ooh, lordy. Let's actually do a power loop this time. Oh, lord. Again. Oh boy. Woo! Lots of jittery jittery. I don't think the quad really like that with a big punch out. That's okay. jittery jittery just now goodness i think i'm asking way too much for this from this quad <laughs> all right and we are back so my final thoughts on this is is that for the price i think it's worth it it's pretty decent i don't know how it's going to hold up over time especially with the elastics which is you know the most important part about the harness the harness one i'm not too worried about because it straps over your shoulder so even if it does stretch out um it will be held in place so it will be fine and it worked well for you know what i'm going to use it for now if you're going to do stuff like extreme sports I can't really speak to that, especially for the headgear, because when I had this on and I was wiggling my head, man, this thing was jiggling all over the place. It was falling off. Um, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be, you know, the elastic is going to hold sturdy enough for you to be doing any extreme sports. But for line of sight, so that the viewer can see what 
I'm showing, it's pretty good. You know, if you want to do something like, a, I don't know, like cooking show or anything like that, if you want to have this on your head, just strap it on and you can see exactly what you're doing, hands in front of you, this will work really good. Um, my only use case that I can think of right off the top of my head, I'm sure you guys can think of many more, um, is, you know, stick cam footage or if you're going to be doing, you know, hiking or anything like that and you have your camera right here and you want to kind of see like a body cam footage, that actually works well. Uh, I also saw another neat little touch on the head harness, on the head strap, um, that it actually has like this nice foam padding on the back. This is where the back of your head goes. So, you know, that's neat little touches. And again, something that's priced as low as this for the combo, I think it's, I think it's pretty, pretty good, pretty well worth it. Um, it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. They're using solid plastics. And again, the strap itself seems pretty good. And the neat little touches about having the, the, the little gooey thing inside here so it will actually stick. I think it's okay. So guys, if you want to check out any of these products, the head strap, the chest harness, the combo, uh, the lights to the drone, all of that kind of stuff, the LED lights for the drone, um, I'm going to put links to all of that down below. Guys, they are affiliate links and basically what that means is you can click on the link, it will take you to the site and if you purchase something from that site, it doesn't even have to be that specific product. Um, I will actually get a small commission and it will help the channel grow. So that's it guys. Remember like, subscribe and share. Turn on that notification bell if you enjoy this kind of content and I catch you again in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>